Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how I measure my properties. That way I could give the customer or my potential customer uh, a real quick, fast quote on mowing lawns using Google Maps. Pretty simple. It's free. Everybody can get this software. I know there's a lot of softwares out there that does the same thing. And uh, of course, a lot of money just to uh, use their use their software. But these are to the guys that are going to start their business, lawn care business, this year, 2020. Y'all guys let me know if you're starting your business this season. So here we go. We, got, we already have Google Maps already open. So, and I have a uh, address already here. This isn't my, this is just a random address, guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so now that we have the property, we're gonna switch over to the satellite view. I kind of like the satellite view because you can kind of see, like for instance, there's a swimming pool here. So there's gonna be tons. I could see that there's gonna be tons of edging. We may have to bag in the backyard just because of the pool. So of course the price is going uh, is gonna be a little bit higher for that. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it, guys. So we could see that the Perimeter is going to go between It's going to start here or or the line. It's going to be here and We're going to measure all of this all the way up to this corner and up the fence line Then we're going to make a connection. So I'm using I'm using a Mac So in order to put our first point, we're going to use two fingers and push down and We're going to go to measure distance to put your first marker, I think if you're using a PC, it's been years since I've used the PC, it might be right click. So we already have our first point, our first marker here. And all we're going to do is just connect the, uh, we're going to drag that line up to the front yard, across the front yard, uh, down the right side of the property. Then we're going to, in order to get the uh, square footage we have to make a connection so we're going to come back and we're going to hit that and boom as you can see here on the bottom the total area is 12,422 square feet so knowing that I have a program called Yardbook, which does all of my invoices uh, keeps up with all of my customers uh, able to do an email blast to all of my customers and Y'all guys go check it out. So what I do, since I already have this um, measurement, I'll go ahead and put it in yard book. So usually the way I go, let's say I get a lead or an inquiry from a potential customer. I'll go to yard book, put all their information in, emails, phone number, uh, address, property address. And then, of course, I start to put uh, information like this, like the total area of the property and then I'll base my price off of that and what I I have here a sheet that has all the base quotes for certain um, square footage so like of course up to 8,000 square foot I have a base quote uh, price of course I'm not gonna go over the numbers and you know from 8,000 to 9,000 another uh, base quote and the reason it's a base quote because <clears throat> let's just say for this twelve thousand dollar or twelve thousand dollar twelve thousand square foot home let's just say my base quote is 60 bucks right but because i see that there's going to be a lot of uh, edging around the pool we may have to bag around the pool so the price is going to jump and it's going to vary from there so um that's why i like the uh, satellite view because I'm, I'm able to see see what they have in the yard and also what's cool about this is uh, if you come over to the street view i'm able to look at the front yard and kind of see how well they take care of their property i could see if they've if they treat their turf um, here it looks like they don't so we could see if they have a flower bed we have a couple of trees in the front and that's another cool thing is that you get to see their landscape so now seeing these two trees 
now I could give my customer and upsell them a uh, tree service and you could pretty much give them a quote on uh, maintaining these trees and also the shrubs up in the front but then of course you got to be very careful that you don't just go um, 100 percent by the street view because a lot of times the street view like for instance this one was taken in July 2018 so you never know they they could have added more shrubs or them shrubs by then uh, from 2018 to now maybe they're overgrown um, so you you don't you don't always know what I like to do sometimes if I can't get an accurate or if I don't have an updated street image of the property I like to email or text the customer and ask them to you know just send me a text a picture of the front yard side yard and backyard just to kind of kind of give you a an idea of what what you're going to be working with and from there you kind of you know you, you you could you could change your your bid or your quote for for service if you're going to uh, let me go ahead and go back to the bird's eye view okay if you're going to apply fertilizer then i would recommend that you just measure the the turf only so for mowing i'll go ahead and measure the entire property and then of course i have my my square footage um, with the price that pertains to that square footage on here and that's the way i i'm able to give a quick quote to my customers but like i mentioned if we're going to apply fertilizer or weed control i would definitely just just measure out the the turf for instance let's go ahead and just measure this out so if i was going to apply chemical i would just uh and it, it's kind of tricky <coughs> i would take sections that i could i could measure first so I would actually go all the way down to the street. Boom, right there. Um, let's see if we could do this. Sometimes I could get it all in one shot. Let's see if we could do this. Oh, okay. We definitely have to get around this pool. And it, ha you know, try to be as. as accurate as you can that way you won't um, over apply boom hey we actually did it boom boom okay so we got the uh, square footage so if I was gonna apply I just said just fertilizer the total area is uh, 7,374 square feet. So th from there, of course, you're, you're able to let your customer know how much it will be to apply your chemical. So if you want to kind of, if you want to erase what you got already on there to measure, I don't know, let's just say the house. For the Mac, you use two fingers, push down, then just clear measurement and boom there you go back to square one but that's the way I do it guys very simple using Google Maps to measure the square footage of a property any property it's simple like I said if you guys are starting out this season I would highly recommend using Google Maps instead of going out um, to the property you may want to go out to the property when you're first beginning uh, your business just to kind of eyeball and and uh make a mental note how long it's gonna it's gonna take you to mow the entire property and that way you could kind of have a base price uh from that but like after that i would just i would just measure it using google maps if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment below and i'll i'll try to answer your questions or if not i'll make a video about about whatever questions you have so hey man thank you for watching we'll see you next time later